So if we look at the mechanism now, I've decided to reduce butan 2 ohm or butanone. The only way it could be a ketone is if that carbonyl is at carbon number 2. So butanone, and we're going to reduce it with the NaBH4 in water. And so we re represent, in the mechanism, we represent the reducing agent as the hydride ion that I mentioned at the start. So there's the lone pair, got the minus sign. If you remember, there's a dipole across this carbonyl bond. So we're going to put that on. That's going to help with the mechanism. Also going to get us a mark. We've got it on there. So you can see there's going to be an attraction. This pair of electrons on the minus sign here is going to be attracted to this carbon. And the knock-on effect of that is the pi electron pair. It's a weaker bond to pi bond. And they're going to be repelled onto that oxygen there. So that's going to create this intermediate structure. So you can see what's happened. There's that new H that's attached here. And the pi electron pair has been repelled totally onto this oxygen. So one of those electrons already belonged to the oxygen. The other electron actually belonged to this carbon in the pi bond and so effectively it's this oxygen's gained one electron and becomes negatively charged now we bring in the water molecule remember this is carried out in water and so you can see there's going to be an attraction between the lone pair on the O minus and the hydrogen the slightly positive hydrogen in the water molecule and that will obviously break that bond and there's the H that's going to attach and create the alcohol, the OH group. And you can see I've drawn up the products there. So we've got the secondary alcohol because this was a ketone that we reduced and we would make a hydroxide ion um, from the breaking of this OH bond in the water molecule. But remember in the equation, if we write the chemical equation for that, just don't do this here, we would have CH3, CO, CH2, CH3, plus two moles of reducing agent, oxygen sandwich. So we're going to do CH3, CHOH, CH2, CH3. So the OH minus ion just features in the mechanism. It doesn't come into the equation. We're just going to finish off by... Um, explaining the role of the hydride ion in the mechanism. You can see that this H- ion is donating a pair of electrons and so it is acting as a nucleophile. So a nucleophile is an electron pair donor and because we are adding things on to the double bond it's called nucleophilic addition. And just be careful how you spell nucleophilic. So many times I see a double L there and the exam board won't like that and they'll mark it wrong. So it's a single L at the end of the word there. Nucleophilic addition. So we'll finish with a just a more complex starting compound. So we've got um, an aldehyde now. So just suggest the mechanism. So we're reacting this aldehyde with NaBH4 in water with heat. If you want to pause the video, have a go, and then we'll go through the answer. So bring the hydride iron in from the reducing agent, put the lone pair on, and the curly arrow must start from the, the negative sign of the lone pair. So that's going to be attracted, that slightly positive carbon. That's going to repel the pi electron pair onto that oxygen, and it's going to create an intermediate so we've got the CH2 and then we've got the C and it'll be O minus now with the new H on and the original H on. Bring in the water molecule, put the dipole on, put that lone pair on, grab that hydrogen, break that bond and we'll generate the product CH2 
and it'll be CH two O H. And obviously, because it's the mechanism, we're going to put the OH minus in as well. And you can see at the bottom left there, I've put the equation for that in. So this is a phenyl group, C six H five, CH two CHO, two moles of reducing agent, oxygen sandwich. So we're going to have the H as either side of the O. So we get CH two OH.